It's like Thursday morning. I'm with my buddy Chuck who's in the garage. We're at a buddy's house and we're doing things. And he just put my struts in. I'm spectating because I don't know what the freak to do. But he's gonna get her done. Oh yeah, and welcome to my vlog. to tell the new struts are in the new struts are in it used to have six struts in the front but now we only need two so we're good we're good we're good well she definitely rides a lot nicer than before as you can see I actually have front wheel gap now I don't know if you can see that but uh, I actually have front wheel gap before now before it was like pretty much riding on the rebound the old struts are pretty shot to shit but uh, yeah, she's not too bad. She doesn't crunch a lot, but Chuck did say that I need to get my links redone because they're looking pretty jumbled. So that's probably what I'm hearing is just the links being, you know, lanky. But I definitely need an alignment. So I don't want to drive it too much until I get an alignment done on it. And other than that, she's good to go. So I should be able to go down to Bloke someday soon. Sweet. I can hear Oreo just giving her in the house. I better go. So yeah, the problem with the brakes, apparently it's not a problem. <laughs> He looked it over, he's like, dude, you still have plenty of meat left on those pads. The rotors, however, were pretty rusted from sitting, and uh, now they look fine after a couple good brakes. It, it kind of stopped the rotors from being shit. So I'm still filming with my phone in case you haven't realized yet, people. Here, look, you, you, you can, you can, you can tell, you can tell I'm filming with my phone. But, I'm going to be switching to the camcorder soon. I just wanted to uh, finish this segment of the vlog off on my phone. So... Basically, he said that, uh, well, the rear tire, he said it looks pretty rough. It's all chewed on the inside, so I need a rear end alignment for sure and a front end alignment. So I'm going to have to find an alignment center in town that will freaking get her done on uh, both front and rear, rear tires. I used to bring it to his shop, actually. He worked for an alignment center here in town that recently closed, and I used to get him to do it for me. But the problem is, is he doesn't work there anymore and the shop's closed. So there's a couple other places in town. He told me there's a place down on, on Lakeshore that I can bring it to and get the job done. So I may have to do that. I'll definitely get the alignment done on it um, before I even attempt to visit the blokes. And we'll get that all straightened out and everything will be good to go. So brakes, he said, don't worry about them. He goes, if you want to do them, he goes, do all four, buy the rotors, buy the pads. It's pretty easy to do. He goes, I can show you how to do one, then you can do the other three. And that way there, if you ever need to change them, you don't have to wait for me to be in town. And I was like, well, sweet, because I like to have that knowledge under my belt for sure. Because changing brakes, you know, you watch enough videos of it on YouTube and it looks so easy, but I've never, ever, ever done anything like that. That and I got to get my floor jack fixed or something. It doesn't pump anymore. It's probably out of fluid. The hydraulic fluid probably blew past the seal and leaked out on the garage floor or something. Who knows? But I got to get that done someday. But right now the brakes are fine. If I wanted to do a trip to uh, visit Bloke, my crazy British Bloke buddy. So if you're watching this Bloke, there might be a visit coming up in the very near future. Just got to save some money up and uh, we'll be good to go. You know, for beers and steaks and bergs and dogs and all the other fun stuff we do when we're down there. So just got to put some money away for that. And then we'll be ready to rock. I was thinking sometime in August when uh, Pug One does his great big cheeseburger picnic and all the people from the U.S. are coming up and stuff around August 17th. I was thinking of popping down, hanging out, and we can, uh, I was going to take the Thursday, Friday off prior to the weekend. So, you know, I can go down on a Thursday and then uh, hang out for a bit. And then Friday, maybe we can go hit up Sparta, watch some races. Saturday, go to Pug's for the cheeseburger picnic. Sunday scoop back home, Monday back to work. That's what I was thinking. So uh, that could be kind of fun. God knows what kind of hijinks we'll get into. We tend to do a lot of that when, when I'm there. Crazy ideas come up. We never film them, but this time, hopefully, that'll be different. We can make crazy videos and stuff. Well, that's the battle plan. So now that the car's fixed, I can actually do shit. So that's pretty awesome. Anyway, people, I'm going to carry on with my day. I'm going to switch over to the camcorder because using this phone is, uh, well, it does an okay job, but I'd rather use my camcorder. Peace to freak out, people. We'll talk to you in a bit. Here you go. Alrighty, people. Just finished editing up the morning part of the vlog there, the car part. It wasn't a long part, I know, but you're probably saying uh, stuff and junk. The reason why I decided to edit it up prematurely is because when I film with my camera phone, the... Just want to make sure it worked out. It's like Thursday morning. 
<laughs> yeah, it worked out. So whenever I film with the camera on my phone, for some cocked ass reason, the um, it, it just works the computer that much harder. Probably because of the format and it's harder to work with or something. I, I don't I don't know, but it does take a lot longer for it to get the job done. So I found that editing it prematurely and rendering it up in MP4 format so that the chunks are already ready to go when I want to finally you know, like finalize and edit and all that shit, it's a lot quicker. So I don't know if anybody else out there has ever used a Samsung phone to film and then uh, recorded it uh, or then edited it, but for some reason on Sony Vegas it really works at big time. Now I close that window good because uh, this be the culprit on why the bugs are getting in because I have duct tape covering holes but there's still holes there and the little bastards get through them and then they break into the window and then they come into the house and fly around and go into my toilet paper tubes and then they try to bite me when I wipe my bum. So, solve that problem. Yep, just rendering up some shit. Got still some more Cube World stuff to do. I forgot about getting that all rendered up. I got about 13 episodes there. Six or seven episodes of Minecraft. Gonna have some more Euro Truck. Just trying to get well ahead on my Skaven games so that I can play other games and upload them as a secondary video for the day, maybe. I don't know. But right now I'm hungry. There we go, just fired some pogos into the uh, the microwave. I'll eat those. Before I head off to work, it's currently almost 10 after three. So I'm just putting a charge on my phone because I never charged it up since yesterday. I'm gonna freaking have a quick shower after I eat too. And then uh, we'll head off to work and get the work shift over with. And then uh, I'm gonna go for coffee tonight after work with Rex after I come home. And let's Super Fluffy out. Yeah, Super Fluffy, he's a puppy. He's all nuts and things. Look at him go, he's all nuts. He's a crazy puppy. He's so fluffy! Are you fluffy? Yeah? Okay. I just realized this food dish is empty, so I know I filled it up last night before I went to bed. He doesn't really eat. He eats like a half a scoop a day. I don't know what he's supposed to eat, but I just keep filling it every time it's empty. He's the kind of dog where he doesn't gorge. He doesn't just go to town on it. He'll only eat when he's hungry, which is a good thing. Because I know some dogs, like my buddy's dog, is like if there's food in the bowl, he feels compelled to sit there and eat it. Even if he gets sick, he doesn't give a shit. He just drives it into him. And uh, that kind of not good. So also I should point out, I'm not running on much sleep right now. I have about, I went to bed last night at six in the morning. The sun was already up. And this morning I got woken up at 10 when uh, my buddy showed up in the driveway to uh, fix the car. So I was like, shit, 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 you know, no time to sleep. So I'm sitting there, I'm laying in bed and stuff and Oreo's on the bed and he's growling at me while looking at me. And I'm like, bro, what? And it's cause my buddy Chuck was in the driveway waiting for me. Well, we were gonna do the work here, but uh, my jack don't work. I'm gonna get that diagnosed and figured out and things. So basically without that work, and it was kind of impossible to do any work on the car. So he's like, well, we'll take it over to uh, his buddy uh, ha has a garage and all sorts of shit that makes it a lot easier to work on the car, like air tools and all that. So we just brought it over there through the air tools tour ripped off the tires he, like it was such a quick job when I watched him do it I was like well that's actually not too bad because I thought he would have to like take apart the brakes and take all that stuff off and I didn't realize it was just two bolts holding the freaking brake thingy on caliper whatever the whole hub I guess is the term for it I didn't realize that I had no idea what, what kind of a job it was and after watching him do it I'm thinking well you know I probably may have been able to do that but I saw him I saw the way he did it and I understand it now so you know three bolts in the top and it looks like he took uh, two out to take off the hub and there's one holding the flex line and once he did all that and the friggin hub uh, the hub the strut came right out of it and then he just hooked up the new strut you know bolted it all in place torqued it to spec done you know literally it took him like 45 minutes to do both and that's because we had cigarettes in between if we weren't smoking we probably would have well he probably would have had it done in like 20 minutes like the guy just freaking flies through it but uh yeah like he told me he goes adam your links in the front are done and i thought for sure i just did those last year i could have sworn that i just did those links last year at barry shell but i could be wrong because uh i lost track of time there can't remember when I did them, but uh, that's what the noise is in the front end right now. It's the, the, the links are bouncing around. So I'm gonna have to get those redone, son of a bitch. And then uh, we'll be good to go. But that's not a big deal. He said, I, cause I asked him, I said, well, if the, 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 the links are bouncing around, what happens there? And he goes, well, they won't let go. He goes, it's just the rubber seals in them. Um, they fail over time. So you end up, uh, oh, this plate hot, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Hot. Okay. Mental note. Buy microwave safe plates. But uh, yeah, so he said that it won't 
cause any structural problems. If anything, it'll just annoy the piss out of you because every time you hit a bump, it's going to sound like the whole front end's loose. So I'm not too worried about that. I can get that fixed any other time. And as for the brakes, they are, he said there's not a big deal with them. He goes, you still got plenty of life left in them. He goes, uh, but if you're going to plan on replacing them, buy four rotors, like front and rear, buy pads, front and rear, and uh, get everything done at once. And I still need to do plugs and wires, but I might uh, just bring the car right into GM and get them to do it. It's 75 bucks plus parts, and they throw everything in, and it's good to go. So that's probably what I'm going to do there. Right now I need to eat, so I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Alrighty people, well it's freaking go time. By that I mean it's time for me to go to work. Son of a bitch. Bit a busy day today. At least we got the car fixed. Bonus. I got a rock of piss, and then we're going to head out. Frig yeah. Alrighty, before I go, I'm gonna go grab my recycling box. Forgot to put my garbage out today because I was in a rush <laughs> to friggin' get things did, but not a big deal. It's pretty funny. Since I've been on my own, I haven't had to put my garbage out half as much. Except when I do clean up and I have a whole bunch of garbage bags. That's a different story. But, uh, you know, you know. Oh, I think we already got flyers. I might be going back in the house here, people. I think we already got flyers. Yes, we do. Okay, I'll be back. Actually, you know what? Are those all the flyers? I'm just gonna leave those there. I'll grab them tonight when I come home. Let's get the hell out of here. Cause you know, tomorrow is Friday, and naturally, that means it's flyer day. So, without further ado, let's pitter patter and have at her and get her asses off to work. Some bitch pile of monkey nuts, it's hot in this car. Frig sakes. <laughs> inside and get this bullshit shift over with it's Thursday so I'm not prime unless my co-worker called in sick let's see what happens let's give her alrighty people it's friggin six o'clock break time actually it's quarter after six o'clock break time and guess what I almost got attacked by a bird and they cleaned up down there <laughs> the bird almost jumped me son of a bitch that startled me a little bit somebody posted on Facebook saying gas was going up to a dollar forty four point nine soon Right now it's a buck 35.6, so I guess by tonight when I come outside that'll jump. Thank God the Trans Am's good on fuel. Because if it wasn't, that would suck. It'd be an expensive ride to work and an expensive ride home. Still haven't washed my car, but you guys already know that. Trans Am's still filthy as frig. Uh, and this weekend I'm going to my parents' house on Saturday for a barbecue and uh, just chill out and friggin' barbecue and things. And then on Sunday, I have no idea what the freak's going on. Might just hang out at the house or something, take her easy, do a little bit of cleanup around the house, throw out some shit, you know, get things did. Yeah, that might happen. I know Mr. High Five there on freaking YouTube is like, bro, clean up your house and things. Meh, whenever I get to it. <laughs> Rex should be back home shortly. Apparently he's going to Royal Distributing on his way home, so God knows what he'll pick up there. And then, uh... Tonight, we might go for coffee, depending on how tired he is. So, Chuck might come out too, depending on how tired he is. He's been up for a long time, though. Today, he shows up at the house. He had two Hortons, one for me, one for him. And uh, it was like, friggin', uh, he tells me he was awake for 36 hours already. I was like, are you friggin' nuts and you want to work on my car? Are you sure, bud? He's like, yeah, let's get this over with. I'm like, okay, all right, whatevs. 36 hours. Like, I've done the 24 hours before, and that's rough. 36 hours? I don't freaking think so. Oh, it's a little plane. It's a little plane. Just giving her in the sky. Just giving her. Just gone. So yeah, it's just another day here. Nothing much else going on. Got the car fixed. I'm really happy about that because that's been bugging me. I don't like having a broken vehicle and I don't like the fact that I don't know how to fix that shit because I could have had those struts in a while ago if I would have known it was that easy. It looked pretty easy watching him do it. He just took out like a couple bolts, right? So 
probably something I could have done on my own. Who knows, maybe I'll buy the brakes and try those on my own. Frig it, you know? I'll just watch a lot of YouTube videos, really video educate myself, and then go out there and take a crack at it. Maybe I'll have Rex over just for for moral support. <laughs> have more for moral support to show me what I'm doing. And let me do all the work so I can figure it out, and then at least I'll know something else about cars. That'd be a good idea, maybe. I think so. Then if I really cock it up, off to the garage it goes. Might be a good idea. You know, what's the worst I could do? Oh yeah, I could set myself on fire. How, I don't know, but we'll figure it out. And like Rex said, like normally, like when we did Logie's brakes, uh, we needed a special tool to push the piston out. Like, like Rex said, he goes, you don't plan on reusing your rotors, we can just pry off of the rotors to get the, uh, the piston to expand, and that'll work. And I was like, okay, well, he's done brakes enough in his life that he knows exactly how the freak they're done, so if he's just there telling me what to take off and what to do, you know, show me once, and then I'll figure it out. And I should be able to do the other three no problem, and that'd be awesome, and then I can say I actually spun some wrenches on my own car. Like on the Trans Am, I've done simple things like like I replaced the thermostat, but that's not too hard on that car because it's like right friggin' there in the front. Uh, what else have I done on that car? I don't know, that's about it. I know I need a new timing belt though. Chuck looked at the timing belt on the uh, G6 and he said, dude, get a new belt for this thing. So I'm assuming it looks like shit. So I'm probably probably gonna have to do that soon, in the very near future. Get a new belt for it. I don't know how to put that on, but uh, should be just run between the pulleys, follow the diagram on the dash, or on the dash, underneath the, the hood. Follow that through and, 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 and you're golden, right? Maybe, probably not. It's gotta be a tensioner onto it. I don't know, something I'll have to figure out. Something that critical though, I might uh, enlist help for that one there because I don't know if taking off that belt, if things move and throws timing off, I don't know how to reset it and stuff, so I could always do the old fashioned mark the pulleys, whatever direction the pulleys are in, put a, take a piece of chalk or a, a paint stick or, and just mark it that way there, I know where the pulleys are and things and, and go from there. I really don't want to cock over that car though, because I really like that car, it does the job. Sure, it likes to gurgle the fuel, but ah, whatever. But when Chuck looked at the uh, spark plugs, he's like, dude, I can reach these with my hand, so. He's like, probably don't even need to drop the engine to get to the ones in the back. Probably just got to give her. If you say so, bud. I don't know. I really don't. I just realized the screen on this camera is absolutely filthy. I guess I'm going to go back inside there after uh, my break is over. I'm going to clean off the friggin' screen for this camera because there's like water spots on it and stuff. And it just looks like shit. But, uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure my break is done with. So, I'm going to head her back inside and carry on with this night. And I'll talk to you guys at 8 o'clock, so... Yeah, unless I don't have anything to talk about, then I won't talk to you at 8 o'clock. But if I do talk to you at 8 o'clock, I'll talk to you then. One of these days, I also got to mow my lawn. Son of a bitch. 8 o'clock lunchtime now, people. It's been a pretty dead night, which is good. Because after the outages the past couple of weeks, it's been hell on earth. That it has. Gas prices still holding strong at buck thirty-five point six for now. Good, good, good. Someone told me a rumor that the gas prices are supposed to be slashed in half, but in reality, they're gonna probably be double. You know, we're probably gonna hit that buck fifty by this, by August. I wouldn't be surprised one freaking bit. But what can you do, right? Not much. Oh, hello. We has guests. Oh, hello. He has guests. Dude, your engine's dying. Your engine. You're, you're, you're dead. You're done. Your car's broken. Oh. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> Don't look at my short, huh? The pose. He's, he's stuck, people. He's driving home like that. Yup. It's happening. Lunch is over. I'm posing. Everybody's leaving. Everybody's leaving. <laughs> and so am I. Bye. Alrighty people, change of plans for tonight. Not gonna be going for coffee there because uh, Rex went to bed. I believe Chuck went to bed because I sent him a message saying, hey bud, what's going on? Nothing back, so pretty sure uh, nothing's going on tonight. So I'm gonna head her home and we're gonna carry on. I gotta go in the garage actually because I think that diode I cut off, I know where it is and I might be able to rewire it back in, so. Let's bit her patter and have at her and head her home. Alrighty people, I'm home now. Just gonna grab these flyers and head inside. Oreo's out here with me peeing. Let's do this. Alrighty people, we got the flyers. We got the dog all pissed out. Pretty chilly in this house right now, I like that. It's gonna make for awesome sleeps tonight. That is for sure. But I think I'm gonna get to bed because like I said earlier today, I didn't get much sleep last night. I was up uh, till about six o'clock in the morning editing and uploading. 
and then processing and all that jazz. So I think I'm going to call her quits and then uh, go from there. So I have a mosquito bite in the worst possible place ever right now. You know where your belt normally sits? on your waist. Somehow a mosquito managed to evade my belt, get in there, and bite me just above my butt. And let me tell you, it drew a lot of blood and put a lot of anticoagulant in me because that bump is like the size of my fingertip and it's itchier than frig. <laughs> oh well. Scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. Probably shouldn't do that because it's going to bleed out and that's bad. So I'm not going to touch it anymore. But anyway people, got a lot done today. I got the car fixed right on. Nothing's stopping me now from going to blokes. His finances. Just gotta get about, I'd like to get about 500 bucks before I go down. Once I got 500 bucks, head down to blokes, party it up, and uh, it'll be a good time. That and make sure he's not busy with, you know, work and things. But we'll talk that over, him and I will talk that over and figure that all, all out and stuff and go from there. But on that note, people, I'm shutting the vlog down. So if you like today's video, like button. Questions, comments, concerns, you know where to leave them. <coughs> and until next time, people, keep on vlogging.